Wei Feng no longer analyzable. It does seem like driven pretty much by headlines. Why is that? I think that a couple of issues before we talk about whether it is analyzable or not analyzable. Let's look at what we did in the past to analyze the sector and the developers. So normally in any proper research of fundamental analysis, we do top down. So we study the economy, we study the wage growth, the affordability. We also study the market in terms of property market, the supply and the demand and the price. And then we zoom down to the micro market from regional market to cities. We also do bottom up analysis of the companies. So we, we also know, like say, the founders background the management style. We also know their operations, their land bank quality, and their financials. So throughout the years, I think every analyst who study this market or every investor, we develop our own method at different stage of the market development. So we're not only looking at financials, and we also talk to the rating agencies, and that is also not good enough. We meet with the companies. We also know that seeing is believing, so we also visit their projects across China. And throughout the years, we also build a lot of our geographical knowledge about China. But we also know at extreme market, we need both willingness and ability to pay. So to be fair to the developers, they're also aware that. So throughout the years, the developers also trying themselves to help investors to understand the market and understand themselves. They also set up frequent meetings, site visit, reverse road shows, and they also set up some industry um, kind of practice, which is they call monthly newsletter, telling uh, telling investment investors and the market how much they sell during the months and uh, how much land they buy during the months. So that is all good. So we built our knowledge of the market and the issuers in the past um, 10, 15 years. And we know some are more prudent and some are more aggressive, right. some are more transparent, some are more difficult to talk to. So that is what we did in the past. But now all this, what we can do in the past are mostly all gone. And the worst, right. we now have like say many social media accounts. Right. And from WeChat, uh, Wei Feng, Weibo, the question now is are, what what do you do, Wei Feng? What do you do now, especially for junk rated uh, companies? I think now it's very difficult. That's why I said it's not analyzable. Just like say if 10 person go to a hospital, one or two is like terminal disease and they die is quite an understandable. But if seven to eight die in the hospital and another one to two in ICU, that is not something normal. As in the China property market, you have like say 70, 80% default rate. That is not normal too. So for us, we are, totally lost offshore. And also because of the zero COVID policy, we used to be able to visit the project. We be used to be able to visit the developers. We can't do anything here now. So that's why I just saying that it's very difficult for us. Even though we know the asset are there, the cash are there, even though they are not, they cannot be moved, but what we can do here offshore. Of course, as an offshore investor, from day one, we know offshore bonds are structurally subordinated to onshore, that's, yes, definitely. But Wei there Feng. is also a legal order. Yes. Uh, Wei Feng, please, if you can keep your answer short. I want to know, uh, actually, how bad the picture is on the ground, quickly. On the ground is offshore, we can't see. We only know the sales go down 50%, land sales go down 40 to 50%, and the developers cannot move their cash, cannot have cannot borrow, that is what we all know. But how going to tackle this? We all have to roll out a lot of policies to help the developers. But yeah. so we are also in a waiting time to see what Wait the back. policy makers are doing or what they want to yep. do. Uh, it's a very policy driven market, as what I said. Exactly. So if, and when, if they're not uh, analyzable, uh, are they investable? And tell me the other thing very quickly too, how, what needs to happen for them to be analyzable and doubly investable as well because of this loss of confidence? I think at, at the very beginning, you need to know their financials. 
and you know what are the problem coming from, why they have so much cash sitting on their account, but they cannot use it. What is the problem and how to resolve the problem? Because the assets are there, as what I said. The asset, fixed asset or property, they are on the land, they cannot be moved. They are not cash can be moved. So if we know the property are there and that is only the sales are there, not there, the liquidity not there. So we know the problem. What we want to know is how the government want to tackle the problem, resolve the problem, let leave the developers what they are going to do with them. Because for China property, we all know that is a very private a POE driven business. It's not a lot of SOEs in there. And you can see most of the POEs, they are all in default now.